And could ethanol be the solution as an alternative source of energy to take place of the wood fuel? The government is planning to introduce cooking stoves that use ethanol to reduce dependency on charcoal whose usage is detrimental to the environment. Gabriel Kudaka has the details of the new strategy. The rising demand for timber, charcoal and firewood has been a constant threat on the country's forest cover, forcing the government to impose a ban on logging activities. The impact is being felt by those who rely on wood fuel for cooking and heating. From 700 to 18 to 18 to 2000. So it has been so hard. And then Kupatikana na Ningwam. Kangogo is now forced to complement charcoal with gas, especially when cooking light meals, which ideally is a cleaner source of energy, but more expensive. Following the ban on logging, the price of charcoal almost tripled, forcing many businesses that rely on charcoal to incur extra costs. Kangogo and many Kenyans facing a similar challenge will soon get relief when plans by government to provide an affordable alternative fuel are realized. So we are going to roll out over the, by March, that is with the support of the private sector, to have alternative cooking stove using ethanol which is much cheaper and is going to be affordable within 300 meters uh, from households, especially in low-income areas. We are actually emphasizing uh, planting of bamboo, which actually can come in to be an alternative to, to, to charcoal. On value addition, on bamboo alone, you'll get a lot of other products, including uh, floor mats, uh, furniture. Kenya has more than 8 million households, more than half of which depend exclusively on wood fuel for their energy needs. This has contributed greatly to deforestation, a challenge that the government hopes will go away once all households adopt alternative energy sources. Gabriel Kudaka, NTV.